We're in Target and I figured I would show you the patriotic swim trunks. Mm -hmm. So they have these with the stars and stripes. What better way to represent, right? And then they have Pabst, Pabst. Bl Pabst Blue Ribbon. And then these are Corona. And then we have, uh, yeah, Grogu. I wonder what other swim trunks they have. Oh, they have these. So they do have some swim trunks to choose from. We are in Meyer, and they have they have donuts, but then they also what I was going to show you they have these really pretty cakes. So you can get one that looks like a taco, a cheeseburger. Look, they have a um, banana cream cake at the top. They have these that look like a unicorn. They have one that looks like a mermaid. This is like a princess theme. I like the monster one too. Very, very cute cake. Yeah, we have tried David's cakes before. Um, but yeah, they have all kinds of stuff. Um, cakes and stuff like that to choose from. If you want to come and pick up a birthday cake, look. Frederick's Chocolate Truffle. I've never seen that before. That looks awesome. It's got a triple scoop cake. Lemon oh, yum. And then they have a freezer section here. And you can get all kinds of cakes in the freezer section, too. So, like, if you've had Turkey Hill ice cream, they also sell, like, Turkey Hill cakes here. Oh, yeah, the Bill Naps. We've had the Bill Naps, like, pastries, but we've never had their frozen stuff before, so I don't know how those taste. Um, but this is actually the Good Meyer. so this is the Big Meyer that we really like. I want to show you how big the uh, cereal aisle has gotten. They've got so many things to try, like the Safe and Fair. They do have the chocolate chip cookie dough here. They've got the strawberry shortcake. They've got the honey crisp apple pie, uh, which this is a really good brand. But they have so many to choose from. Unbelievable. And then the, just the cereals and stuff like that and the bars. I mean, the bars used to be like a little bitty section. And now it goes like it's, it's almost the whole aisle uh, that the bars goes down. And look at all the cereals. I mean, it's just amazing how many cereals there are. And there's more new ones coming out. And there's more bars coming out. So, I like it in this mire how they put their, their gluten-free with the regular bars. Because at our uh, mire, they have them separated. And I don't know why they do that. So, I'm glad they put them together here. But the, the cereal is just unbelievable. And, and this these are like extra long aisles to hold all this. Over here near the mall, and I want to show you, they have one of these fairs set up right here. And I, I wanted to comment on it and show it to you because it's been a very long time. Used to in Winchester, there's a uh, there's a parking lot behind McDonald's, and it used to be Walmart used to be behind McDonald's, but now it's a Peddler's Mall, so they still have a it's a decent sized parking lot. Now, I mean, compared to parking lots now, it's really small, uh, but used to every single year you would get these fairs set up that they would set up overnight and then they'd be there for a couple days and then they would be gone, and so it it really surprise me to see this fair going on because I, I have not seen one of these pop-up fairs these traveling fairs for a long time and I guess you don't see anything going right now because it, it's getting ready to rain and uh, and so that's why I think there's probably uh, not anybody even over there right now because it's getting ready to rain but I wanted to show it to you and ask you do you all see these in, in your area because it's just something that we do not see here anymore. Yeah, they have elf they ears, have, funnel cakes. Yeah, Oreo, something with Oreo, it says. Yeah, I guess you get it sprinkled on your funnel cake, maybe. Bumper cars. Oh, wow, look at it in there. Oh, look at the little bears. Oh look, Superman's on something. Break a bottle. We'll oh look, here's a pirate ship. The pirate ship's actually going. 
Look, can you see it? Oh, look at that ring of fire. Ooh. There is no way if, <laughs> if I would get on any of them. This is the parking lot where the fair was, was always at uh, in Winchester, where at least where it most of the time was. Doesn't look big enough to hold anything. It's a little bitty parking lot, and where it says Peddler's Ball back there, Yeah, it used to be a Walmart. Yeah, the Walmart used to be really, really tiny, and I can remember walking in there and playing. They had a Miss Pac-Man machine. Yeah, and Miss Pac-Man. Look at that old station wagon they're putting on the back of that. Uh, <laughs> that trailer. Uh-huh, that is an old, I swear we It's like had, a Woody. Yeah, we had a big, we had a station wagon. It was actually bigger than that. It was huge. There's McDonald's. It had a huge rear end on it. Yeah, there is our ugly McDonald's. Although I have showed it to you because they're starting to add some color back Yeah, putting red on it. Which I'm glad. We were going to go to Joella's Chicken today. And we noticed that there was hardly any cars in the parking lot, and it's because they've had a fire. Mm -hmm. Can you show all that on the side, Kevin? On the ground? That is awful. It's a uh, yeah, that is awful. So Looks they, like they had a cooler or something to catch a fire. They, garbage. Yeah, thing. they have had a fire. That's awful. So we won't won't be going to Joella's Chicken today. So we were curious about Joella's Chicken and what happened. So I looked it up. And Kevin looked it up. Uh, it was on April 8th, which is a so while back, it's, a couple weeks ago, it's, three weeks ago for us. It's been almost a month ago. Yeah, almost a almost month. Almost a month ago. Um, it says, according to officials, oh, hold on. Um, the Lexington Fire Department responded to a fire at Joella's Hot Chicken Sunday afternoon in the Hamburg area in Lexington. Um, according to officials, the fire was extinguished and, cont and contained to the rear outside walkout. I think it's a walkout cooler of some kind. Um, officials say that there is no extension into the main restaurant, so they didn't, it didn't bother the main restaurant. No injuries and the fire is under investigation. That's all they said. The thing is, is so like there was nobody in the parking lot, so we just assumed that they weren't open. And yeah, when they you, might have been. When you see the building like where it's been on fire, you just assume that it, that it's closed. It may well be, have been open for business and it just, you wouldn't have thought that. So we might not be the only ones that didn't go to Joella's today. They might have actually been open. Yeah, there's a picture. The same thing I got. Uh, you oh, know, it, it went off. There. Anyway, yeah. Uh, you can show it. There. It's the same thing we just showed you. Yeah. But apparently that happened a while back. So. Down the eighth. Yeah. Don't depend on us for the news. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> so we're in a another tar Target, and they these are the Kentucky Derby shirts that I they have. I showed you this one like a week ago, but I hadn't showed you this one yet. But look at these shirts. It's called. Um, it says Happy Earth. Um, I don't think these are the Happy Earth shirts. I don't know. I, yeah, they are. Well, maybe. It says Paul Frank. I have no idea who Paul Frank is. But these are $12.99. These are uh, cute little characters. I just don't have any clue who Paul Paul Frank is. So these are their USA shirts that they have in Target. And then they have pants. Oh, this is cute. Oh, if it wasn't a half shirt, they look good on me. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no. So these are some that I hadn't seen here before. They have the strawberry shortcake, and look, this is like this is like old school '80s strawberry shortcake shirts. Yeah, they're all vintage. MTV. Oh yeah, they have an MTV, Yellowstone, Yosemite. Uh, they have a Mickey Mouse. Build a hot dog. <laughs> yeah, they have a bunch. Of, they have the Rolling Stones. They have uh, looks like Led Zeppelin. Oh, Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones. See, I never look up here in the uh, the women's. I always go straight back to the men's, and I look at the men's. What is that one? Demon Slayer. Oh, I don't know that. Nirvana. Well, I actually would have liked to, totally liked a Sailor Moon one if they had had a full t-shirt. Yeah. But she's not into wearing the half shirts, so she wouldn't have gotten into that at all. Um, yeah, if they had had a, like a whole shirt. Look at that. Best Buds. 
Yeah, so they, they have a lot here. It's just, uh, just depends on what style you like. <laughs> Did you read that? It's not a dad bod, it's a father figure. <laughs> so if you watch the show, uh, Emily in Paris, isn't that a show on Netflix or something? I think I started watching that. Maybe we watched like two hours ago. Uh, look at the Hello Kitty. I don't like these things, but look at this. This is actually really cute, this sweatshirt. That's a Barbie shirt. Oh, that is Barbie. I Man, it's a tiny shirt. Isn't that cute? Hello Kitty. Oh, and it says cool. Hello Kitty. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, what is, oh, the white one is the Barbie one? Yeah, those are two Barbie shirts. Oh, cool. That looks like a little child shirt. <laughs> Yeah, that looks like a toddler shirt. I think Amelia could. I'm not even joking. Amelia could Amelia wear. Could wear Amelia, Amelia could. Amelia could definitely wear that. And this is in the adults. These are really, really cool. These are new, uh, like pop vinyls. This is only at Target. And these are from the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And these are huge. These are forty-five dollars. Uh, but these are the, the, yeah, I know, I love that. These are the smaller ones, but you get two figures in there. Uh, but then they also have these figures. Yeah, look at this. This is a, uh, a lunchbox they have. Look, there's a ro rocket. This one is only at Target, too. Mantis, that's only at Target. Here's some Avatar toys that we have not seen yet. Mm -hmm. So, like this... We have definitely not seen that. That's really cool. Well, Indiana Jones is coming out with a new movie, so that's why they're... Ah, they're this Indiana Jones stuff, yeah. So, and this, um, I tell Kevin, this Target has the music pumped up. I'm not used to them having uh, the music turned up like they do in here. I mean, I don't mind it or anything. I'm just saying, I'm just not used to it. Look at this Guardians of the Galaxy. Volume 3, Groot. Ah, the song finally went off. But now another one's gonna come back on for sure. Oh, Kevin's waiting for me. Look how big this Minecraft Legends is. And this is huge too. This is a big, uh, a great big one. But aren't, aren't they, aren't, the whole thing's gonna come out. Aren't they getting too big to where it's gonna be hard for you to play with them if, if they're actually that big? I think this is cool looking. This is like a castle. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of, uh, what is it called? The Excalibur in Las Vegas. <laughs> a spider. Ooh, that is cool. You think he'd want that? He likes stuff like that. And that's the only one I see up there. And then you got the, uh, You've got the swords. Would he want the swords? Yeah, see, those are so big. I don't know if, if well, those... The warden is big. Right. Oh, look at this. Spider-Man. And this is actually a metal set. And it's only at Target. What is this? Oh, these. We saw those at Walmart a couple weeks ago. Do you see any that he would want? So this is the summer stuff that they have out at Target. They have a lot of bubbles and shovels and stuff like that. They have hula hoops. Uh, they have uh, ball pits. Look at the ball pits. They've got, look how creative. They have a um, fire truck and then this is like a, a dinosaur looking thing. And um, then they have all these life vests and goggles and they have trampolines, table and chair sets, bicycles. So this is also uh, part of the summer stuff. So they have all of these igloo coolers, which I love the colors of them. Uh, but then they, oh yeah, pineapple plates. And you get a set of four. And then they have these uh, bowls. They're like Tupperware bowls with lids. I would think Tupperware would really be hurting for business because they, 
that yeah you can get uh rubbermaid and different brands is that a hat oh do you think do you do you think you put sand in it and seashells oh you think it's for food oh okay oh here i'm thinking i'm thinking it's something you take to the beach oh that's cute and they have a rainbow Ah, uh -huh. okay. So this is actually a light. And then the pineapple. Yeah, I like the flamingo one. And then they have lights down here. And there's tons of floats. Yeah. Oh, look, like this is a slip and slide. Yeah, that is a, a, like a watermelon, watermelon slip and side. Yeah, that oh, that's out, cool. Out of top of it. Did you see these little uh, ice tray? Like they have strawberries, pineapples, little wedges. Like those are uh, rainbows. rainbows. Yeah, like that that matches those plates down there. These match the plates. You know what you could do with these two though? If you wanted to make candy, oh, like yeah. hard candies and stuff. You yeah. Can make them with those. Okay, so they have a pool volleyball game. Mm -hmm. Look at this ice pop float. That's cute. Yeah, and that's look at her parts. on the whatever animal that is. Is the that cheetah? a leopard or a cheetah? Probably. What is it? And then here's a, a like a basketball game. And a donut. Giant fruit slice. That's cute. And then they have these cups. These are cute with a different lid. So if you had d uh, a bunch of kids, then they could have their own cups. And you would know whose is whose, definitely. Oh yeah. And they have uh, pool shoes. Now Kev Kevin and I have ordered some pool shoes. Right. We've ordered our pool shoes off of Amazon. We got them in. And you'll see those in a video later. <laughs> Once we get closer to vacation, we'll show you the stuff that we bought for vacation. It's a squirt gun. Uh, I was like, what does this... It water in from here. Uh-huh. It squirts it out. Oh, okay. So while you're in the water, floating on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then they had just have... That's a neat one. It's small. Like, a, like one of those things you put in your car and you, you compress and make it smaller. Right. So you could take it. With you. Look for your dog. And oh, we don't use to do okay in the water for a little while. What that is? Oh, it's a knee pad. Ah, gardening. So this is gardening stuff, and these are chairs. Yeah, um, and. Yeah, these are little kid chairs. They're fifteen dollars, which the big ch the big chairs are only fifteen. One of them's twenty. It looks like most of them are twenty dollars. These tables are nice because that table will last for a long time. Table and chairs looks like they must have sold a bunch of them. And then Kevin was showing us these these chairs. And then here's some diving rings that's one of the things we really loved when we had a poll is uh we love to throw the rings out and and see who could get the most or get them the uh get them the quickest and everything and then up here they have a bunch of towels and then this is just regular gardening stuff i tell you what though you don't see people back here shopping like you do when it's halloween and christmas and like like nobody is back here at all oh, this squeeze me it's a crinkly it's just crank oh, that, has to be that one probably did too it? yeah it does So I want to show you this machine that they have in Walmart. This is, it says drop off your old phone, instant cash for phones. So we didn't even know, we've ne had never even noticed this one before. And until we saw somebody standing here last week and they were actually bringing a cell phone 
to put in here to get cash back. What we're wondering is, it seems like that would cause people to steal phones so that they could get the money for them. It's like, well, what, what causes somebody to not steal it and turn it in? So if you've ever used one of these, you'll have to let us know. We are at Walmart and they have made this a dollar shop. So like this is like the front when you go in Target and you see all the like the the dollar stuff at Target. So this is called Dollar Shop and it says spend a little, get a lot. And they have stuff for a dollar, but then they have three dollar items. And oh my goodness, chip clips. Well, we'll have to get those for a stocking. Uh, I don't know, five bucks. Oh, but look, they it have. It's dollar shop, but it's, really not. it's not really not a dollar. Look, this is for the new Little Mermaid movie that's coming out. And then they have these um, oh, that's what this is. little bread pans. Yeah, this is the new. So that's the three sisters, I guess. Oh, I guess so. Um, and so they are just now getting this stuff out because like you can see it's empty right here And I'll tell you we were in another Walmart today. Of course. We didn't walk down at the other end, but um, I wonder how much of this they've done in that other Walmart because uh, This is really cool. I think people will be glad to see this and that they're taking a page from Target and gonna offer stuff here, too. What's that play-doh Kev? Soap. Finger paint. Finger paint soap. Soap. Moldable soap. We're oh, what moldable. what scent? Is it certain scents? Bling and blue. Oh, blue. Okay. And then... Screaming green. It's just colors. It's just colors. So it's not like... Oh, look. Bath dust. Oh. That's cute. We have bath slime right there. That's cute if you don't have a kid that their skin breaks out. Yeah, I figured And then over here, they have summer stuff out. So uh, we might go take a look at the summer stuff. Do you want to look at the summer stuff on the way to the other section we need to go in? So they have coolers just like Target had, but these aren't like the cute colors that Target had. Uh, but they have uh, volleyballs. I like the different colors of volleyballs. And look at those up at the top, how colorful those are. Wow, they have a poolside hoop. That's, that's really nice. Wonder why they have some Lego stuff up here. The Starry Night. $170. Oh. It's Andrew. That's going <laughs> Okay. And then they have a queen air bed. So they brought some of their camping stuff up. Look how freaking cute. Kids camping tent. 30 bucks. Make your kid happy. They have two different ones. Those are so cute. You can see what Kevin likes to look at, the toys. They're getting all this new Little Mermaid stuff out from the new movie. Oh! She sings. She held that note a long time. Oh, that's neat. I like how it lights up. Her fin lights up. So they have the bug repellent. Plenty of that. I wondered if they had any, um, like, America stuff up here. They have the original Kapong. I've never played any kind of Pong. I'm surprised they're not putting pickleball paddles in the badminton set. Yeah. We've never played pickleball, but I think it's definitely something that, that we would give a try. A yeah, Little Women, Anne of Green Gables, a dollar a piece. That's not bad at all. And then down here you have, oh, all kinds of cool pools, swimming pools, and floats. We just saw all the, look, oh my gosh, look. They have eyelashes on them. Did you see that? And this, this looks like candy. You know what I mean? I tell you what, now's the time to buy your goggles. That's something that once they get this, a lot of this pool stuff out, they sell it, and it doesn't seem like they get a lot more in what is that they're, just, they're like diving sticks but they're uh they're 
squish oh, them. Oh, ooh, I'll just like to squish you're it. Like, you're supposed to grab them and flick them. It's like shoot them. Oh, up. I just like to I squish know. it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a lot of fun just to squash it. This is the play one, the soft ones. Ah. Do you remember during COVID when people could not find a swimming pool? Mm -hmm. Guess what? They're back. They're back. Yeah. Look, that looks like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, it is a vacuum cleaner. Well, we never had one like oh, that. It makes you think they're standing up, but they're all on their butts or their knees. Yeah, they're not standing up in there. They're, sitting. they're all sitting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. This is a tumble tower for Outback. That, that, that's the illusion that they're... Yes. Like yeah, and it's not. It's not that deep. But you know what? If you want to have fun in the yard, it'll get you wet. It goes off for us, though. Oh, yeah. That's nice. It's got cool in the middle of it. Yeah. Did we see that brand at... Um... That's those big guys. They were the first Yeti competitor. That's all fun. This is all fake flowers for like Memorial Day. And then this is like Mother's Day stuff. It's a match game. Disney family match game. And look, you draw your own family on there. Oh, that's cute. Oh, you match up one character to the other. Like, uh, which movie, family. which family, which movie uh, okay. did the family member come from? Well, Sometimes you can tell. Are these musical? Sometimes it's pretty obvious. They're wearing the same clothes. They're wearing the same gloves, yeah. Are these musical? That's actually a fan. Like, yep. I can feel that. Okay, what do these do? Oh my gosh. Okay, what does he do? Oh my God, that's a Barney. They, they, ripped Barney. they ripped off Barney. They did. The red panda. Yeah, this is a big red panda. That's cute. hilarious. That's the only one. Oh, there's a dog. Okay. Okay. As a mom, as a mom, please don't buy me that. I don't want that. I do not want any of that stuff. Well, they've taken down from the and I made them to mom. Yes, yes. I would rather have the, how much are those? The 17, 18 bucks. I'd rather have the $18. Yeah, I'd rather have a $5 coffee cup than one of those. They've got all their bathing suits out though. Target had a lot of their bathing suits out too. Target had a ton of bathing suits to choose from. Um, they have graduation stuff. All the graduation stuff. So we did a review on Hudsonville ice cream and I, it was a big tub of Hudsonville ice cream. Like one of these tubs. And I told you all that they do not sell the big tubs of Hudsonville ice cream in our Walmart. They do sell the big tubs in the Walmart in Lexington because it's a bigger Walmart. But I'm like, okay, I want to make sure, I want to look, see if they sell the big tubs of Hudsonville in our Walmart. They do not. And I think it's just because they do not have the space for it. So I I just wanted to show you, um, I checked, we do not have the big Hudsonville ice cream uh, containers. Kevin bought some underwear from, where'd you get these? Sam's Club. Sam's Club. And you don't see them in the grocery hall because it's like, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna put Kevin's underwear in the grocery hall, although he doesn't care. So this is the question of the, the week. Why do you have resealable bags for underwear? Right, so why in the world is somebody storing, is somebody actually storing their underwear in these bags to where you need to reseal them? Because I, I had a pull thing where you had to pull it to, to break the seal of the bag. So it's not like they're worried about somebody opening them and then so they can zip them back up to resell to sell them. It's literally like, I don't it, know why you want Yeah, them. it's a resealable no bag. Point. So we don't know, because we always throw these away. Yeah. We have three boxes to open from Michael in Kansas. So the first box, I opened the top of it. I haven't actually gotten anything out of the box, 
but it says on the side, it says signature popcorn. So it didn't have Michael's name on the outside. So there was an invoice on the inside right at the top that said, bill to Michael in Wellington, Kansas. And um, I thought, oh, wait a minute. Michael sent us, we got all this on the same day. I won't take these out of the box. So, because uh, I, I literally thought this was from the company. This is called Signature Popcorn. And there's apparently, uh, Michael said, thought you might like to try some new popcorn. Here are some new flavors that I bet you've never tried before. Um, and we've never tried anything from, from Signature Popcorn. They are in, that I remember, I do not remember ever trying this brand. Illinois. This is called Long, uh, Signature Popcorn in Long Grove, Illinois. SignaturePopcorn.com. These are butterfly one gallon popcorn buckets. You can go ahead and take it out. And what, oh, how pretty. Looks like a... Plastic. It's like a, a movie theater uh, bucket. It's plastic though. It's not, yeah, that's it's not nice. So they're packed really well in the box. This bucket has strawberry and French. Uh, sorry, strawberry cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake and French toast. Yeah, they don't say what the flavors are. And no, I'm glad they say it on here because it, no, it does not say on this bucket at all. Mm -hmm. And then this one, if you can lean that, lean it down. Yeah, there we go. That one it's has like cheese and chocolate. peanut butter and jelly huh. and Chicago cheese. So this is the peanut butter and jelly, I guess. Oh, I'm so excited. I guess that's a great, maybe they're purple. They look like chocolate, but I oh, think they might be dark purple. For the jelly. Yeah. That's awesome. That's cool. Look, the strawberry cheesecake has like graham cracker in it. With, with Michael, cool. thank you. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Then, I love that. This is a Ooh, Turkey Creek Sack. Okay. We get Turkey Creek Sacks around here. We have tried oh, skinny crack. We've tried some of their pork rinds. I don't think we've tried crack their ones. crack ones though. Crack ones are good. Do you know where we found these? The net, the logo looks in there, but What's the store in Lexington? I never can remember the name of it in the uh, Circle K. There we go. Pulled sure that, there pulled that out of I don't know where because I never can remember it. The last time I bought some Turkey Creek snacks because we don't see them everywhere. Um, we usually see them like at Circle K though or like little grocery mom and pop like grocery store, uh, grocery little markets. Um, but we tried the pork rinds. I don't think we did the cracklins. Mm -hmm. uh, skinny cracklins. These are um, just regular and hot. Yeah, regular and hot. Okay. So they're um, cracklins usually have a little bit of the fat stuff. Mm -hmm. Andrew loves them. Andrew loves I like them too. Cracklins. But Andrew really likes them. If Andrew ever moves back to Winchester, yeah, we'll drag his butt then over Andrew will be in videos. I know you all miss Andrew. We miss Andrew. Well, he has to work a lot less. He, too. huh? He has to work a lot less too. He works all the time. He works all the time. Yeah, he he um he even if he moved back to Winchester, he would have to fit us into his schedule because That's he's he, you know he's between a job and a wife and three children, he's kind of busy. Um. And that's what happens when you get older is you get your own family and you have you have your new family and then you got to fit your old family into that new family okay these are these these are the same ones that make those um the little happy panda yes happy panda yeah i cannot believe you remember the name of that oh they got a little faces this is like i think the same brand that latte a lottie Lodi, uh choco biscuits Who knows? but i have we haven't tried these concho and oh oh a one bar i think we've had this maple glazed donut i do think we've had this one i'll we'll look i'll look it up to make sure and i'll come back and let you know i'm almost positive i remember that though um this is a crown uh it looks kind of like a starburst type yeah. thing candy exactly. It looks like apple or pear. That's apple. It's apple, green apple. I've never seen these. That I, not that I remember, at least. It looks like Michael went to a foreign grocery store. These hard. Sound weird. Uh, we have had hard bite before, 
but onion and um, <laughs> I don't think we've had these. Wild onion and yogurt. Weird. Wild Not a combination. Onion and yogurt. That's odd, isn't it? It would not be a combination that you would normally no. put together. No, and I'm wondering, made by Megan. Made in Canada. I know we've had hard bite. It'll be interesting when I look those up to see because we haven't had it in so long, I do not remember what we had from them. Yeah, I don't know if we've had these or not either. Planters, heat peanuts. They literally just say heat peanuts and chili lime. How cool. Chili lime peanuts, all right. I love planters peanuts. Uh, Uncle, Uncle Ray's. Ray's hatch green chili queso. Once again, I'm gonna look these up. I'm not sure. We've had so many Uncle Ray's, I don't remember. They sell those um, at like um, uh, Save a Lot and uh, the bread store. No, they, yeah, well they, they do, might. They, they do. do. They do. You're right about that. But they also sell these at that really nice gas station that I like in Lexington. Oh, the Q. The clean one. GQ or QG or. No, no, no. The clean one on Winchester Road. It's called Clark's Pump. Oh, Clark's Pump and Shop. That's it. Clark's Pump and Shop. Yeah, they there. Yes, I'm pretty they sure do. they sell those at Save a Lot. I could be completely wrong. Maybe I'm thinking about. It could be Uncle no, Bucks or something for all I remember. They, they sell them at Clark's Pump and Shop. Okay. They sell Uncle Ray's. But I'm going to make sure, like I said, that we haven't tried Two more them. things. Uh, these are Cedar Creek French Vanilla Popcorn. That's awesome. So and we can try popcorn glass. with them. Ooh, the glass. Ooh, Dill Pickle Franks. We've never had that. Red hot sauce. We will have to go on a hunt and see if there's... Didn't we find some red hot that we've never tried before? We didn't buy it. Yeah, we didn't we buy it. Saw saw it. And I'm wondering um, if we could... Uh, we'll look. We'll see if we've... I don't even know if we've reviewed the regular Frank's Red Hot on the channel. Mm -hmm. um, but dill pickle. That's awesome. Uh, that'll be so cool to try. Thank you very, very much. Um, I appreciate the money you spent because I know you just the shipping alone was more was expensive. That's what I was gonna say. One of these boxes, well, the the, the two boxes alone were over like thirty five dollars, and then he spent money buying the popcorn, and there's no telling how much the popcorn from that company cost and the shipping and all that. So we greatly, greatly appreciate it. And even if we tried this before. That's okay, we'll keep it and enjoy it. It'll just be something we don't have to review. Right. But I'll look these things up and I'll let you know what we've tried and what we had and that way you'll know what videos to expect. But thank you very, very much. So I wanted to tell Michael we for sure have tried this. What they did was they changed the packaging on it. Uh, but we, if you do a search for one maple glazed donut, uh, one protein bar maple glazed donut, we have reviewed it. We reviewed it with another bar. Um, it used to be in like a gold packaging, but it still has 20 grams of protein, one gram of sugar. It's still the exact same bar. That's okay though. We will still enjoy this. And then I looked up the hard bite on my computer because it was like, what was it we had from Harbart? They were chips. They were, and these are chips too, but they were just like salt and vinegar, barbecue, regular, and I think jalapeno. These wild onion and yogurt are, uh, that's very different. Very cool. The Uncle Ray's, we have not tried these. The reason I thought we had tried them is because these have a pepper on the front and the green writing just like i believe it was the jalapeno and so it almost looks like the same bag except it has like green and blue instead of green and yellow so we have not tried those so michael you did good you only duplicated one thing and that's okay so thank you I hadn't shown you my peony bush. Kevin's taking the Herbie back. Um, I hadn't shown you my peony bush at bushes out front. And so I figured I would show them to you because they, uh, there was a lots and lots yeah, of, yeah, these, yeah, lots and lots of buds. These are going to be gorgeous once they come out. Um, but yeah, any day now. There's four of them here, by the way. Yeah, there's four bushes in one, even though it looks like just uh, one big one. There's four different bushes here. So Kevin is hopefully on his way to get a haircut. And you see we're in our coats. Um, I don't think, we were talking about last night about how uh, Kevin mentioned how our heater is still coming on. So 
I don't think we've ever lived in our house and we have still had the heat kick it on and it is May. it's May yeah today it, yeah we're in May now and the heat is still kicking on and today is it's 50 degrees right now and we're wearing our winter coats and I know in a lot of places um, probably in like Minnesota and Wisconsin if it's 50 degrees they're probably not wearing coats I doubt they're wearing winter coats at all they're probably wearing shorts and t-shirts because for them this would probably feel really good to us this feels it worse it's still cold so it looks like the barber is open hopefully yeah it says they're open but there's no cars up here so hopefully Kevin can go in and uh and not have any weight. Yeah. Um, I'll be back. Okay. So you got his before shot, which is <laughs> it's not too long, but yeah, to to it depends on where you live in the country. You know, to some people, it's not this isn't going to feel cold at all. But to us, this is still cold, and with the heat still kicking on in the house, um, it's like oh my gosh, what is the deal with the weather um, these days? I'm looking in the shop at the barber, and he's wearing a mask. We do not see masks uh, very often. I mean, like, at all do we see masks. Um, hardly anybody's wearing them anymore. You can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see Kevin in here or not. Hold on, let me see if I can get him. Okay, we're gonna zoom in. I'm gonna zoom, where is he? Right here. I'm going to zoom in right here. Yeah, you see him? That's as close as my camera will get. You can see the barber, like, going up, like, shaving the back. I could probably go in and film if I wanted to, but I just, I never do. I always, um, I always just sit out in the car because, honestly, it doesn't take 10 minutes. It takes no time for him to get a haircut. So here's Kevin's hair. He looks handsome. And they always trim his, uh, do they, they don't trim your beard at all. No, I do not. But they do trim your eyebrows. Yeah, they ask if I need my beard or anything done. I said, just the eyebrows. So, <laughs> so I don't get the old man eyebrows. Yeah, because uh, some, uh, you know, when, when, when men get older as they age, you'll get, you'll see uh, older men with hair growing out their ears, with it growing out their nose, with their eyebrows like this, like crazy eyebrows. And it's, it, I've said it before during vlogs, it's like, why hasn't their wife told them or somebody said to them, you need to trim that up. Um, because, uh, you know, you don't want to see hair coming out your ears, Kevin's ears. So, uh, Kevin makes sure he keeps his ears trimmed up, and, uh, like, he actually has tweezers, and he'll, he'll, uh, trim the ears out of his, uh, the hair out of his ears. What I can see. And, uh, yeah, what he can see. I tell you, um, we really like it when Ashley does it, because Ashley's really good with the tweezers. So, Ashley will get his ears a lot of times. Um... You don't have any issue with your nose, though, do you? I trim them. You do? You have one of those... Um, it's a nose trimmer. Yeah, it's a nose trimmer. And it's really easy. It's not painful, is Stick it? Stick it up in there and move it around. It's yeah, <laughs> and it's no big deal at all. Oh, and if I didn't do that, it would, it would drive me crazy. Yeah. Itchy, itchy and... Right, and then the eyebrows the the barber gets, but yeah, it's no big deal. And how much do you pay for that? I give him 20 but the haircut itself is only 12 so... The haircut itself is 12 mm -hmm. and you give him a 20? Wow. Yeah, but I only go every. Yeah, he doesn't go two very months, often. Maybe. Yeah. And these guys, it's a small barber shop, so I figure anything they can get can help. So. Right. So they the, were on the bypass and they've had the road blocked off for about a week now and they're doing something up they here. Pour concrete for some reason. Yeah, I know I'm bumpy, but yeah, they're doing something over here. We don't know what they're doing. But we don't know why they're doing it. I know what they're doing. They dug it up and poured concrete. They yeah, but we don't know what the purpose of it is. We have a surprise box to open. Um, you could have knocked me over with a feather, I'm telling you. Um, the doorbell rang, and Kevin went to answer the door, and he said, Oh, did I didn't know you ordered these. 
Well, I didn't order these. These are from Kai Kai's Cookies. Um, they've sent us a surprise box of cookies. It's which, a cookie gift on, um, the, on the tag. That is so generous of them. Uh, we we did two videos of Kai Kai's Cookies. So we, oops, I accidentally just clicked on one. Uh, we uh, reviewed a bunch of theirs. Uh, when we ordered, it was Easter time. Mm -hmm. So we did a bunch of their Easter ones, but then we also reviewed like the s'mores, everything, oatmeal, the luscious lemon Sammy. And, and, and some of these might be repeats, we haven't opened they, them. Yeah, we haven't opened the box. Mm -hmm. But not only, so like we reviewed them, but then when we got to the end of the month, we always do like a, a monthly wrap favorites. up, a favorites video or likes and dislikes video. So for the month of April, we put like three of Kai Kai's cookies in our monthly favorites mm -hmm. video. And then I think, I just think it's so nice that she sent us these cookies because we have ordered from a bunch of cookie companies lately. And, um, it, it's just really nice. Mm -hmm. It's really, yeah, really none nice. None of them sent us any free things. No. <laughs> it was completely unexpected. I don't expect the other No, cookies. I don't expect free stuff. I'm just saying none of the rest of them did. But I mean, isn't, let me tell you why too that it means so much to me is because they're, they're in Canada. So she's in Canada and she sent us this box and it's just, uh, I mean, I just, that's so sweet of her to do something like that. So I opened the, I just cut it open. So I, we, I haven't peeked at all. No, uh, I know there's a box in a box. But okay. The, the, this thank you was in, top, in the top of it. And it's basically just say, thank you for placing your order. This is how you store oh, it. Oh, okay, so, okay. So that's the standard. Oh, we got a special box. Wow, that's a big box. Because the the box that when we got ours, they were they were packaged great. But I don't remember them being in a box that looked like this. Like this is nice. Gourmet cookies. Yeah, this is a nice but box. But see they do corporate gifts too. So they'll ship to corporate because it says corporate gifting, catering, special events. Oh, they cater. Oh, oh. that's good to know. Okay. I think that's great for a company to know. I don't know what's in it, so I'm going to turn around just in case it's In case there's something there. personal. There is a note. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, hey, Tammy and Kevin, here are some of our Mother's Day flavors. We love your reviews and hope that you enjoy these flavors, Kai Kai and Tame. By the way, you pronounce Kai Kai's perfectly. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That is so nice. Okay, so these are Mother's Truth Day. Truth be told, we looked at it. I, I, listen. We, we watched videos to see how, how, I think you looked up how she said it or, or, um, or an advertisement or something. I if I don't know how to pronounce something. We, we work it. I try to look everywhere I can, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, there are some companies that I still, I've watched every video. Yeah, even their, in their own ads, they don't say what their company is. Yeah, and they'll <laughs> never say their company name, and it's like, oh my gosh, just say the name. I want you to hear you say the name. We tried uh, these chocolates from Liebert, and I'm hoping I'm saying Liebert correctly. Maybe Liebert. Uh, Liebert, yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Um, and I watched every single video of theirs on their own Instagram page. We're like, they have people on their Instagram page, or, or like tagged, that are opening these boxes from them, they no don't say the name. name. It's like, oh my gosh, say the name of the company. It's like they're afraid to say it because they're afraid to say it wrong. And then the company's not saying it. I wanted to hear somebody saying it. So what I did was, Kai Kai, I, uh, not that she's gonna be watching this vlog at all. She will probably never see this box opening. But I watched uh, other people on YouTube and there was one box opening. I didn't care for them and they never said it right and they were just playing around. But another one, a serious reviewer, they said your name and, and I thought that sounds good to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna go with that. So now, some so of these may, yeah, that one has a name. Oh my gosh. Chocolate chunk. Huge chocolate chunk. This specialty flavor, so have to flip specialty it up. flavor super mom. Super mom. Mom's favorite oatmeal cookie with dried cranberries, walnuts, Belgium chocolate filled with pistachio cream. I also like that they're all individually sealed in their own little bags. Uh huh. This is cinnamon roll. Oh, I was so excited. Now we tried that one. Carrot cake. Uh, did did we, we try her carrot cake? Oh, we did. 
Maybe not. It might have been from another it company. It could have been. Too. You know, they all kind of run together. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if we tried. Uh, Flavors run together. The cookies and Right. Good. I will make sure. Uh, this is s'mores. But it's got pink on it. But it has, yes. It's a pink. Oh, pretty and pink. Pretty and pink. A.K.A. Mom's s'mores. So it's their s'mores. It's just decorated for Mother's Day. That's, that's okay. Cool. We'll definitely give no, it a try. Cool. I love the colors. This one is pralines and cream. Ah, I can't wait to try that. Pralines, that's pecans, isn't it? Uh-huh. Okay. Chocolate covered strawberry. We, I don't think we've had a chocolate covered strawberry since some, some really, really expensive ones we tried. So I can't wait to try your version. Strawberries and cream. This is a seasonal flavor, it says. Wow, she sent a lot of cookies. Mm -hmm. Well, we tried before. I think we tried like 10. Yeah, yeah. We have eight here. It looks like she sent us 10 more. Celebration cake. And it has a lot of, um, huh. uh, what do you call these? Sprinkles. Sprinkles on it. And then this, wow, this is a different package. It's all right. This is a soft and chewy snack pack. What does that mean? I don't know. I mean, it looks, still looks like it's a sandwich cookie. No, those are two cookies. I can't tell. I think there's like three cookies in three. there. Hmm. But it, a soft and chewy snack pack. It might say on I that. swear it looks like there's, no, I think there's four cookies. I think there's four cookies in here. They list the signature flavors on the back. Those are just the regulars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll have to look it up on their website. Yeah, I'll look it up on the website. It looks like there's four cookies in here. Um, and they're soft and chewy cookies. See, these are all like filled extra cookies. These are like your big cookies, your specialty cookies. Honestly, those are the cookies I like to order because um, I like the big over-the-top cookies. Um, I want that extra bit. Um, but this is this is so awesome, and thank you so much. Like I said, I don't expect her to ever see this, but I've never, we've ordered, like I said, from a lot of cookie companies, especially recently, and I've never had one to like send me something just because we made a video. Right. I, I've had big companies do that, but not um, a smaller company like this do this. Um, so I, I just think this is so, so nice of her. So thank you, if she does happen to be watching, thank you very, very much. We appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the vlog this week. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here for now. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I don't even remember what we did. <laughs> There's no telling what's even going to be in this vlog this week, but I hope you enjoyed it and I appreciate you sticking around and I appreciate um, all the members that we have and and uh, those of you that support the channel, uh, you know, by uh, just watching us and uh, giving us a thumbs up. We appreciate it very, very much. Patreon members that have been around for many, many years, some of you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we we very, very much appreciate it because I will tell you right now, the money that we get from Patreon, I can specifically say that money, that members money, that Patreon money has funded cookies like these, mm -hmm. truly. When I have ordered from this company and other companies, it, uh, I, we have said together, this is, this is Patreon money that is paying for these. So if, if you're one of these people that watch the videos and, and you really like seeing, uh, orders come in from from cookie companies like this private cookie companies and gold belly and places like that yeah, you might consider becoming a patreon member or a youtube member because it, it it's that money that helps us to order from from these companies like this and try new things because it's so much fun mm -hmm. to get to try these cookies uh so i hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next week